Hi guys, so before I launch into my review of all the newborn nappies that I've been fortunate to try, I just want to do a bit of a video about all the things I've learned about using cloth on a newborn and sort of the things I wish I'd known from the start. First thing is that newborns wee a lot and I'm talking volume of liquid here, not just a frequency. All you ever hear about, I think, is the containment that you need in a newborn nappy um, for the poos. But it's actually the wees that we really struggled with just because of the lack of absorbency in a lot of newborn nappies because they're so small. Number two is that meconium doesn't stain. I was really worried about this, but my baby had this sort of like epic meconium clear out all over a washable change mat and everything, and it all came out brilliantly. And also that cloth wipes clean that up so much better, and I wish I'd used cloth right from the very start on my toddler. The meconium is also completely water soluble, which means you don't need to clean it off the nappies and the wipes, you can just bung it straight in the washing machine and let the washing machine do all the work. A two-part system is what you're going to need. So either a fitted nappy or something like a muslin or a smaller terry, and then with a wrap over the top, that is going to give you the absorbency that you need. All the newborn nappies I've tried are all really adorably cute and well-made, but every single one of them has lacked the required absorbency that we need to go more than a couple of hours. And then following on from that, muslins are absolutely amazing. You need to get the proper muslins branded ones rather than just like the packs you buy in the supermarket. They do feel a bit thicker and they offer a lot more absorbency. I was a bit dubious about using them, but they've performed really, really well. Even now at 13 weeks, um, she still doesn't need them boosted and they work really well. They also actually are quite slim, so you don't need to worry about the bulk. If you're already using cloth, then you'll know that with a birth to party nappy, across the different brands there's still quite a variety of sizing available. This is even more true on newborn nappies I find. My baby was £7.6 ounces born so a pretty much average weight. Um, nearly all of the newborn nappies were still quite difficult to fit on her particularly while she still had her cord on. And then some of them were outgrown within weeks um, which was a real shame and then there were others that took weeks and weeks until they did fit her. Uh, my tip would be to look for newborn nappies that have got rise puffers because that is going to help you be able to adjust the fit better. As I've already mentioned, getting anything to fit whilst you've got the cord stump still on is really difficult. That will depend to a certain extent on what the cord's like. My baby's was cut really short, which makes it much more difficult to get a nappy to sort of fit around that stomach area. You can look for some nappies that will have a popper at the front to allow you to just dip the front down to allow for the cord. Um, some brands have got a little cutout. Um, anything with a tummy elastic on that front panel as well will just help you be able to eke it down a little bit under the cord. But equally, if you are struggling, the cord will fall off within a maximum of two weeks. So if you have to use disposables in that time so you can fold the front down, then just do what you need to do. Washable changing mats are an absolute lifesaver. Again, if you've already used cloth, and particularly if you've used it out and about, you'll know how useful the washable change mats are for sort of public changing spaces because you can just put them in the wash when you get home. But with a newborn, you're more likely to have that sort of mid-change wee. And that's where the washable change mats really come into their own. They're, they all tend to have one side that's absorbent, normally sort of a bamboo, which means it can absorb some of the wee straight away. So hopefully, if you can pick your baby up quick enough, it will stop it wicking up onto their clothes and it'll save you a whole outfit change. Fleece liners are really bulky, so the majority of newborn nappies aren't stay dry lined, so you're probably going to want to add a fleece liner. But most fleece liners, unless you make your own or cut some down to size, are too big for a newborn nappy. So you need to fold it maybe in half, sometimes even in furs to get it to fit, and that adds quite a bit of bulk on a nappy that is so small. So if you then need to boost it as well, you are really struggling to sort of cram everything into that tiny little nappy. The best fleece liners i found are the close parent ones actually because they are paper paper thin although they are quite wide they're sort of an hourglass shape as well so they will seem really big in your nappies but they're the easiest to fold down without adding extra bulk. And along that same theme finding a booster small enough for a newborn nappy is also really really tricky. Most boosters are sort of a standard size they'll be they will be far too long for your newborn nappy so you'll need to fold them that is going to create bulk. And you also risk compromising the fit at that point. You might not be able to get the legs tight enough sealed round because you've got too much fabric stuffed into the nappy. And that's sort of another reason why I favour two parties for newborn because it is easier and you probably won't need to add a booster. The best boosters I've found to fit in newborn nappies are the Kit and Kim ones actually. They are quite short in the length, um, fairly narrow and thin as well, and they will add a bit of absorbency if you need it. And another good booster, but not one you can actually buy it on its own, I don't think. With the Lighthouse Kids Signature Nappy, 
which is nine and white, you get a really small little bamboo booster with those as well. Um, they work great too because again they're very short, narrow and slim. And then finally comes some of everything I've said. The all-in-one sort of pocket day nappies, newborn versions are really cute but they're totally not necessary. They unfortunately won't last that long um, both in terms of the sizing and the absorbency. So whilst they are lovely to have particularly in those early days and for going out and about they are really not an essential item. And actually using a two-part system is both cheaper and will offer you better performance as well. So that's my quick summary of all the things I wish I'd known about using cloth on a newborn before I started. I hope you found this useful and I will get on with reviewing all the newborn nappies I have tried so you can see them for yourself.